What is up guys, it's about Chris Reckless here, and this story came about quicker than I thought it would. I had something else in mind planned for earlier, later this week, but uh, this story, as of October 16th, that is today, uh, this story actually happened yesterday, so uh, as a quick disclaimer, it has to do with vomit, so if you have like a weak stomach, I'm not only going to get to the descriptive, honestly, I don't really need to worry about it, just as a disclaimer, I guess, so that being said, there's going to be kind of a, a long background into this, so let's just get started. Um, this is all gonna sound kind of weird, but basically my day started off just a regular day. I woke up kind of late. I got IHOP from DoorDash. Sponsor me. Uh, uh, I got a breakfast sample. I got six pieces of turkey bacon, two scrambled eggs, two pancakes, and then one of those, like, you know, big hash browns. That was my breakfast. And then a few hours later, I ended up eating some fried chicken. Not like, like, with, like, the bread on it. Just, like, straight up fry, like, on a, you know, pan and stove with the oil and all that. And this thing, I don't know what it's called in English, but it's called nopales. Uh, me being Latino, there's some words I... Uh, it's not that I'm Latino, it's just, there's some words I just don't know in English. It basically just looks like a... It looks like a... The, the leaf of a flower. It looks, kind of, it looks kind of like a cactus, but without like the little prickly parts of it. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's what I ate. But I only ate that like two hours later. And when I was eating it, I really just wasn't feeling it. Because I was like, yo, I don't need to eat this. And then I was drinking some water throughout the day. So the way... So now that's out of the way, let's get into actually how this happened. So basically, I go to the fitness 19 uh, three, day, three times a week, and this was a Monday that it happened. And uh, take it, mind you, I hadn't eaten since like 4 o'clock or anything. And, and I want to try something new because I'm a. Uh, I never really knew what Powerade tasted like until like a few months ago. And uh, what's it called? I'm, I really like the fruit punch flavor. I'm a fruit punch guy in general. So I was thinking that I took like. Uh, there's a 7 Eleven near my house, and I bought two big. Uh, uh, two big red bottles of Powerade Fruit Punch, and I wanted to use those instead of water. I figured, hey, maybe these things are gonna be a little bit more energy boost than a water would at the gym. So I was like, all right, I took these, um, and I went to the gym, and everything was going fine. And then <clears throat> the problem was that I have a very particular workout that I like doing. So when someone messes that up, or if they're taking my spot or whatever, and it's not like I have a designated spot or anything, obviously it's a gym. But whenever someone does that, it always throws me off because then I have to find something else to do. And I don't like doing that. But I was like, you know what? We'll just make this an easy workout day. So then I went to the second half of my gym, uh, which looks like this. It's a crappy drawing right here. I've seen if you guys can get it. All right. So basically, here's the entrance. And then there's a four-part thing. There's a trampoline. Uh, there's like an actual, like, base. There's like a, uh, a dip machine. Uh, then there's a whole, like, standing uh thing you can like hit like 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 a boxing thing and then there's like one more thing i forget what it's called and then over here there's there's like a whole like it kind of looks like those i don't know what, what are the things you call you find at a playground monkey bars because basically looks like monkey bars right here like that and then they also use it for like squatting so you can like rest the the bar out there a bunch of weights over here blah blah, blah. and then they have this 50 yard track field it's it's not the worst but it's not the best either but anyways uh, they also have like I I don't know what you actually call that, but basically you pay you place weights in the middle and you push it you know with your forearm pushing it back and forth, because that's an exercise I guess. And then there's a monster truck tire that you you can lift it back and forth. That that I get. Basically what I was doing is that I was sprinting from one side, tagged the white line, and sprint all the way back, and then I lift the tire all the way back there. And I did this twice, right? And then I started feeling it coming on. So I kept like every I'd wait like a minute. I'd be like, right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. And I was like, no, 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 I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I go get some more Powerade. And then, uh, I, I think I was very bad start again. And I felt that sense of nausea coming on. And I was like, okay, I think I should, um, I think I should go. So my plan was just, all right, let me go get my shit. If I do vomit, I'm going to go outside. That way nobody sees me. Because there was, a, there were, there was like seven people in there. There was, there was a guy like right on the other side. Because I was over here with the tire. And then there was two kids they were like messing around with like one of the um boxing things they were just kicking it and shit and then there was some guy there's an Asian guy over here uh doing something he was like laying on the ground doing something like that and then there was one guy squatting and then there was this one really hot chick she was over here with i think her buddy or husband or boyfriend or whatever and they were doing the trampoline thing we throw a ball on it and it bounces back to you that that's like i don't really know how it's an exercise but um, uh, basically, I went to go get my stuff, and I got to about, uh, halfway. I was, and take it, mind you, I forgot to mention this, all of this on the outside is glass. Like, the entrance right here, that at least the other part of the gym, this right here, that's all glass right there. So, everything, you can see all the cars, you can see everything coming in and out, and then the whole thing of the track on the side is all glass, too. Basically, this entire room is just mirrors the entire 
Like this is, this is just basically mirror. So if you see one thing, you can see it on the other side, even if you're not really looking. But I stopped like right in the middle. Like I'm not even kidding. Everyone, this is like the clearest view you're gonna ever gonna get of me. Um, shit. <laughs> um, basically I stopped right there, and I feel it coming on. Cause like I don't know if you guys have ever had that. This has happened to me before, where you have that sense of nausea, but you kind of like hold it down because there's like that like okay if I can like keep myself from throwing up, I won't. Assuming I can like hold it for like 20, 30 seconds or whatever, however long it is for you, if you can do that. Um, basically, I was trying to do that, and I'm just standing there, hands on my shoulders, chipping my chin up, and I, I was like, it was kind of, kind of, I don't want to say, it's not like I was choking or anything, but it, it was getting hard to breathe in the sense that every time I took a breath in, I felt like it really wasn't getting anywhere. And then that's when I started feeling it coming on. I felt that, like that first, like, Ooh, and then like I just covered my face like that. And, like, I'm having it, like, a few, uh, few inches away from my face, because, obviously, like, I'm not going to just, like, do, like, fucking, it's going to be my eyes or anything. But then I hold it like that, and then, uh, then, actually, I spit up the first time. This is, what, it's like, a two-second spit up, maybe, like, maybe one and a half seconds, and, like, it drips through my fingers, it's on the ground. Take it much, you remember, I'm, like, right in the middle. Um, and then, I spit it like that, I'm like, okay, 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 I'll go outside, chuck this somewhere, and then, because there's, like, trash cans everywhere outside. And then, um, I'll come back and get my shit. And I, I, as soon as I stop taking it a step, uh, it comes, this one's like heavier. And, uh, this shit is, the fact that I'm cupping it in my hands and the fact that it come out again, some of it got like on my face and shit. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and it was dripping everything. And then I was like, okay, I, I need to like stop. But then like, I knew this, there was a third one coming. This one lasted for at least a solid two and a half the four seconds I want to say so I just <laughs> and obviously everyone could hear me I'm pretty sure even somebody noticed it because I'm pretty sure I heard somebody like oh, like, oh shit yo 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 but that, that, that doesn't really matter so then basically I ended up taking a knee like I'm trying not to like fucking collapse on the ground you know because like, moments are there and my eyes are closed the entire time you know I'm like Having it like in my face, I'm trying to like, just, like hold and not be gross about it. I'm just trying to like be a man about it. And uh, well, obviously, like after a few seconds, I had I just like just dropped it, wiped my pant, wiped my hands on my pants or anything. There's like shit like all over, like on the top half of your knee part of your of my like my joggers. That, that there's like stuff like all over there. And um, you know, I had to take. I just like was wiping the shit off off me so I can like you know get, cover up, uh, take the shit off my eyes. And then I look at the ground, and there it is. It looked like uh, the little pilots that I ate earlier. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Maybe it was part of chicken, cause it looked like <laughs> it looked like uh, it looked like onion. It looked like slices of onions that were browning that like got burnt, uh, cause you were trying to brown them. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And then it also, and then there's the red from the power raid. That's obviously that's kind of where I got it from, um, cause like when, when I was throwing up, I could like taste the power raid coming back out. It was really bad. And there's just, it was just like, like red, ch it kind of looked like airheads. Do you guys remember airheads, like those strips you could get? It kind of looked like that, but like liquefied, kind of like almost like taffy or like a, like a Play-Doh. That's what it was looking like. And then, you know, I wiped my shit off all of that. I go get my shirt because I was, I was sure less of the time because I was kind of sweating from that, you know, the sprinting and all that. I go get it and I'm just covering myself up because I don't like embarrassed. <laughs> and then I go, I go to the front uh, and I'm like, I tell one of the guys, I was like, Ayo, I just kind of, it took me a second because I didn't want to say it. I was like, Ayo, I kind of had some, you know, I was like making some gestures to ask what I did. He was like, oh, you blew some chunks, my guy? And I was like, yeah, you know, can I get something to clean this shit up? He's like, where'd you do? I was like, dude, I threw this shit right in the middle of the fucking turf. He's like, oh, dude. Okay, man. So you just gave me your towels and like some fucking like spray shit. I went over there, put that shit in some bag. And then some other guy, uh, one of the other guys, uh, his name was Mark, pretty cool guy. I see him around every now and then. He, he came up to me. He was like, yo, what happened, man? And he, was, he was just messing with me. And then, but he was being cool about it. He wasn't being that asshole or anything. And he was like, oh, don't worry about it, man. And, you know, shit like happens all the time. And, like, he, he was like, well, so what were you doing? And I told him what I was doing. He was like, oh, dude, that means you're just a beast. And, you know, you're working out too hard. And yet that, that shit happens sometimes. I was like, yeah, I guess. I mean, there's work time for everything, right? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, man. And he was just, I was just cleaning the shit up. And he was all like, you know what? It, it's cool, man, because there's shit that, uh, other shit's happened that's worse. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and he was all like, dude, somebody took a shit. Um, as they were squatting, I was like, what? Nah. And I didn't really ask because um, 
I don't really ask because, I mean, I don't really think I want to hear about that, especially considering I just threw up. Who knows if there's some more left. So I finish this up. Uh, I go outside and I, I had to walk back home because I, I walked to and from the gym because I'm going to take a 10 minute walk. And I was walking here, and then I had to take a few stops to sit down or take a knee because, um, well, I was still nauseous because I fucking just threw up, obviously. And on the way home, I finally got home, and, uh, what's it called? Uh, I, I walk in, you know, I don't say anyone anything. I'm, I look fine. All the shit's kind of on my face. I didn't, I just kind of left there as soon as I, um, helped clean the shit up. And then I came upstairs, and I was kind of, like, wobbling almost up the stairs into my room. And I just hopped straight in the shower. And obviously, like, I kind of noticed there was, like, stuff underneath my nostrils and bits and pieces here. My face is still hella slimy, honestly. That that was, like, kind of the worst part besides, like, the whole, um, you know, being embarrassed. Because thinking about you, um, I didn't, I didn't say this, but, uh, when I finally got up and go told these guys, there was, like, nobody, there was, like, two people left in that area. I mean, I'm pretty sure the two kids or that other guy that was on the other side of me, I'm pretty sure he left. Like, prior to me doing that, I'll, obviously I wasn't really paying attention to who the fuck was around me. But, um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I made those people leave. Oof. I really hope I don't see, like... I know I'm going to see, like, two of those people again because those guys are always there when I'm there. But, um, I don't know. That That's that's kind of the end of the story, guys. Um, I mean, I'm fine now. This happened yesterday. Today's October 16th. This happened on Monday. It's October 15th. So, uh... Yeah, that's my story, guys. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know how to end this, I guess. Like, like the video if you thought this was a nice little story. Hopefully, you guys didn't get sick off me saying this shit. Uh, comment something if you want to hear a particular type of story or something like that. Because I got plenty. So, I'm just kind of like going through them, seeing which ones I want to post first. And then, if you thought this was a cool video, share it to your friends. And I'll see you all later.